Hey everyone, this is day 12. Wow, yesterday, um, holy Jesus. Yesterday was a big day. I came out to my Facebook and ultimately in return the world about me being HIV positive. And I have felt a great sense of relief because of that. Um, I think part of the biggest factor of taking down a stigma is facing that stigma head on. With that being said, here's my thoughts for the day. As I start to emotionally process this and I get moving forward with my life, I realize one of the big responsibilities that I have to do is get in touch with everyone else, which so far it's only two people, but um, that I was engaged in risky, unprotected sex with. Um, and that one's been weighing heavy on my heart because I, I really don't want to think that I am the cause of anyone's illness to bluntly put it. And I guess deep down my biggest fear is that, you know, someone might not have the best opportunity to take care of it as I have. And to think, you know, sometimes my mind uh, gets a little dark and I fear that, you know, I a life was lost because of me. I think that's been somewhere in there. And that hurts. That hurts my heart and a really unique way. Um, I've been seeing my therapist and my therapist, you know, made some good points about, you know, you can only do as much as you're responsible for. You engaged in consensual sex and they, at the end of the day, knew the risks. And, um, you know, it, it's something that I realize I have to do sooner than later. The best thing I can do is let them know now, as emotionally tough as that might be, because it could mean, you know, that I'm getting on the medication sooner or not. So I guess my challenge for everyone is if you have to make these tough phone calls and text messages and however you're going to do it, however you can reach these people, know that this part takes a lot of strength and a lot of wisdom to understand the bigger picture in it because I feel like crap thinking that I have to give this news to someone. But I understand in the outcome of it, me doing this compared to not doing this is better. And ultimately, I could save a life. Um, but that's what's been on my brain today. It's been, it's, been really, it's been really tough. And maybe it's why I feel so dedicated to needing to find you know, a cure to be uh, someone of this. I don't want to think that I played a hand in anyone's demise or anyone's harm or anyone's illness or sickness. It's, it's, been, it's been an ongoing mental battle, all in all. Uh, but that aside, I am in good spirits. <laughs> and uh, the website and everything so far, ever since I've gone public, I've had great support. Um, and I really love it. And I know, though, that out there, there are mean people. There are, peop there are going to be people who are going to be watching this and are hoping that I do die of this. There are going to be people out there who hope that I don't make it people out there who are going to call me a fag and, and, and disgusting and, you know, things. There was just even recently um, a bunch of cops, uh, NYPD officers on Long Island. Um, they went up. I read it. It was on uh, Gothamist.com. They went up. I think it was a domestic dispute case or something. Turns out the person they were going for wasn't even there anymore. But they ended up beating the shit. Excuse me. Pardon me. They ended up beating the crap. I'm trying not to swear in these, although I feel like I can because it's a video journal. Um, they ended up beating him, you know, close. I don't know how badly, but, I mean, he was bleeding and he was, you know, he had already had a broken foot. Police brutality today, am I right? But, um, you know, it, it, it just, and, like, the one thing they kept doing, these officers called him a fag, and then they were like, oh, don't get his blood on you. He probably has AIDS, yada, yada, yada. I mean, it was just the worst and most ignorant thing, it breaks my heart. And I know those people are out there, but it's also why I'm doing this, because we need, we need to stand up against that. We need to stand up against that, that hatred and that, ultimately, that misunderstanding and that lack of compassion. I hope those officers are fired. I mean, honestly, that's, it's, you know, there are a lot of cases out there, but to have that on camera, to know that that happened, um, it just, despicable ways of of acting. Uh, but with that said, you know, I just ask that everyone stay strong with me and together we really can change the world. 
everyone, stay strong.